G'day guys, welcome to Taste Tune. I'm Whiskey. And I'm Rhino. In this episode, we're taking you nostalgia drag racing. I'll give you a look at this beast that we're taking down to race in Portland this weekend. It's um, no, what is it, Ryan? This is a 1959 Vauxhall Victor. There's not much left of the Vauxhall except for this here little Victor badge that doesn't even have a V on it. As you can see here, it used to be powered by Mighty Holden, the 202. Not anymore though, fortunately. It does sound pretty mean though for a uh, Ford Crossway. So we're racing. Part of Ryan's team, Taz Tuned. It's a uh, brand that his dad started back in the day racing bikes, tuning go karts. So, yeah, this is the beast. Hopefully, she'll go quick. Hopefully, touch wood, she won't break down. But yeah, fire it up. Can't wait to get her on the track. Let's do it. So, uh, Ryan's just made a few friends, they've pulled in to have a look at the gas on the way. And um, they've got this white low rider truck. I bought a, it's an old Andrew chassis, I'm ready. Old yeah. Mazda, it's been slammed. It's a clean as. Yep. Yeah. Poor blokes come all the way from. Uh, where'd you guys come from? Newcastle. Newcastle. Heading all the way uh, to Tassie. We're going down to Port Arthur. Port Arthur. Stick this on the boat. Hell yeah! Long drive, he's bugging. Yeah. Fucking hell. Well, this isn't the car we're supposed to bring. Yeah. yeah. Your buddy was just telling yeah. me. Yeah. Smashing out till like 11 o'clock or something. Yeah. Oh, All right. Last couple of weeks has been hectic. Oh. I wish we could say the same. It's actually been a pretty crazy run for us. 
so rub far, it in. So rub it in. Yeah, well, touch wood, touch wood, we don't hit, hit any speed bumps, but uh, anyway, good on you guys. Good luck yeah. with your trip. Cheers. And, um, good luck with you guys. Yeah, man. So we've just arrived at the car park for the 12 Apostles and out of nowhere, like we didn't see anyone for ages. There was probably, I reckon we passed five cars on the road and a tractor in the last sort of half an hour, 45 minutes. And then all of a sudden there's this car park. Ages here. It is just, it is massive. There are people everywhere. So yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get a photo of the convict and the 12 Apostles, but we're gonna get a photo anyway, go for a walk, have a bit of a gee whiz, and uh, get back on the road. So we made it, we made it to the 12 fossils. Probably. Fossils. Woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> Compulsory stop, mate. So you gotta have a crack at our hotel. Refab charm. Where are we going? Camera of a camera. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, we're just checking in. Take a bite of the tenure face that this is the first time you've dealt with um, a virtual receptionist. <laughs> well, that was a first experience. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, good morning, good morning. Day two of our, of our Portland adventure. And um, oh, we're, we're doing all right. I'm a little bit worse for wear. How are you traveling, Ryan? Busy. All right, we've just um, stopped off, grabbed some Maccas, good old Maccas breakfast of champions. We don't have to be at the track till about five, or a bit earlier. Yeah, about four o'clock. About okay. four, which is when scrutineering starts, and, and we get a few test runs, and see if the car actually drives more than a few meters. Yep, um, stretch its legs a bit, but hopefully, and hopefully, the sun comes out, because it is still overcast and I don't know if you know anyone knows anything about racing. I know very little and I know that if it rains, it's not good. Oh Ryan. Found yourself a little head. It's a bit bigger than I was thinking. Wouldn't mind it. Well, here we are, we've made it. We made it to Portland. South Coast Raceway. Woo! Now to now it's time to um, break yeah. some stuff or break some records. We'd it's definitely records. be breaking records for the for the gas, I reckon. But um, I'd be very very disappointed if it goes slower than it did. Should be up harder. I tell you what, I'll laugh so hard. <laughs> I will. I'll bust bust it up. Laugh. Right, so we're here. We're here. We don't know what we're doing, but find out. None of us know what we're doing. But um, yeah, we're here. We're just, where are we going now? To register? Yeah, Yep. Right up. There's, there's some kids here, I tell ya. Holy dooly. Fucking gnarly looking cars down too. Alright, Ryan. First time looking at the track. Scrutineered and um, Ryan's, Ryan's making friends again. He's uh, he knows a couple guys. And did you know him from Mildura? Yeah, That's sweet. Well, I think we're up next, so wish us luck. All right, so that's it. We've, we've done the driver's briefing, they've started racing already. We had a quick look to see what the other guys are doing. And um, no, Ryan, Ryan can't wait to get in it. He is, he is pumped, he reckons he's nervous.
guys are up somewhere or like that. I'm just going to check over now. Yeah, sweet. Everything's still good. I'll have another go in a minute. Okay. Your burnout looks solid. Oh, yeah. I didn't give it much. I only just fed it. Really? Yeah, just wow. Out. I think it was about six pounder boost. Yep. Gonna, um, yeah, but like I said, I'm not even sure if I got the secondaries open. Yeah, right. So, um, but it, <laughs> yeah, it pulled pretty hard. Sound all right? It sounded very good, yeah. Uh, we'll give it a How'd the gearbox feel? Yeah, it did what it was meant to do. <laughs> yeah, beauty. Oh, it was probably a bit high once it gets warm, so I'll just turn that down a little bit. Yeah, sweet. Cool, cool. He's gonna let me drive. Alright, we're recording. Here he is getting in. Ah! <laughs> Good luck. Are we quicker than the 202? Yeah, yeah. 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 Alright. In mile an hour in DT, so. Good. Um, yeah, okay, we'll so. Just let it cool down. We'll get a bit of timing, more timing into it. Yep. And see what happens there. Sweet. Alright, I'm going to rip the lug out and have a bit of a sticky bait. Let's see what this can tell us. How it's running. I hope it's not too hot. Spots, you reckon? Alright, so, just pulled one of the blokes, might have been a little bit lean, so that's your primary jets, yep. and these are the secondaries that open later at full throttle, Yep. so we'll up these, um, I'm not sure what's in at the minute, we'll pull these out, some bigger jets in there, and then we're going to run and see what happens. In there. There's two little bits of here. Oh, right, eh? Flat through the ones. Pull them out. Those things there. Yep. Yeah. And there. Alright. Alright, so we've currently got 154s. So, I haven't got 164s, we've got 168s. What was in it? 154. So, 154. And you're asking me what you want to put in it. <laughs> 200s. <laughs> Look, I'm just going to flatten it right up. Because I'm pulling timing out as well. I'll put timing in. Yep. There's 168s in there. 168s. Oh, That's alright, we can always dial it back as long as we don't go lower than what it already was, right? Oh yeah, because I'm putting more timing into it. That's 
if it's see, it might be safe at the minute because it's got no timing. Yep. Um, but if I put more timing in it at the current fueling, it might start melting something. So, um, should you run it with those jets before you increase the timing? Uh, no, I'll do it. I'm only going to increase the timing just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you'd never say. <laughs> Solid, um, sounded solid, good solid burnout, and then he just got pulled up for spitting a bit of um, coolant on the track. So just emptied the overflow, and now um, go out for another run. All right, so Ryan's just done another run. What'd you get? By eight point three. Eight point three nine. Eight point three nine. So um, that was a good run. So the rear shocks seem to be a little bit soft on launch and then sort of as it goes down the track seems to be bouncing in the rear end a little bit. So Ryan's just gonna pop some air into the into the rear shocks if we can. Um, hopefully that'll stiffen it up and make the car maybe a little bit more responsive or to be honest I don't really know but hopefully it improves performance. standing there watching and I'm going like it didn't launch as hard as sort of like it used to with the 202 like yeah, yeah. I feel like with the 202 it used to fucking really well, throw down a different 
suspension different setup, suspension yeah. setup, yeah, and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, it, like as soon as you started going, mm. it really started to whap, yeah. and then yeah, it started backfiring. And I started well, it was obviously myself. making really good power because <laughs> it hasn't slipped before, and yeah. yeah, I thought shit, this is going good, and then slipped. So. Oh well, it's all um, it's all a numbers game, yeah. trial and error, drag racing. So easy, you just. Oh, yeah, you just put your foot down and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, much harder than that. But that's good. Alright, so hopefully we can see right tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sounds be, like it. We should be okay. We come back to just grab a few parts. Pull some more. timing out of it so it makes a little bit less power so it's not that away. Yeah. Check the auto fluid, make sure that's not down or something. Yep. Um, see yeah. if we can get water running through it, hopefully. Yeah. Running through the motor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, cool. Well, I'm gonna go get some dinner. I'm starving. Bloody hell. The old cross layer, yeah, that, it's impressed me. It's yeah. impressed me. It's quicker, than, it's quicker than the 202. I'm just gonna get some tucker and then come back and have a beer. Sounds good. <laughs> You ready, mate? Yeah, I'm pumped, alright, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be alright, you be alright, just bloody. Oh, no, I'll be alright, I just don't want the car to blow up. Nah. Nah, you won't, just foot to the floor and hold on tight. It'd be nice if it just went good one full pass now. Yep. No, backfires, rigged up, sort of slipping or anything like that, just we'll go and do what it does. Yeah. Waiting for Ryan to come back and uh, look down the track. And he's had to pull off down the side, so he completed his run. I think he did a 7.9, but um, yeah, he hasn't come back. So hopefully the car's in one piece. I'm just gonna run up there and see if I can work out what's going on. So, so regardless of what happened, what do you reckon you've done? I love what I've done. 
I don't know if I should tell you now. Seven nine. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fucking quick. <laughs> and that was. It felt fucking good. I can't believe it. It looked good. Yeah. It looked heaps good, man. Um, oh, jeez. Fuck, I. Yeah, the fucking can't run it well until I came out. But the blow up will end up on the arm. Fuck. And. Bob's still in it. He's still in it. I don't have to strip the thread out of the end of the crank. Alright, fuck. Um, so we might get another but, run, we might nah, not. but it's got to crack right where it goes. Fuck. Um, so I might have to try and get a new balancer. We might have one at the water bath store. Alright. But, um. Yeah, I'm still running, but it's the harmonic balancer in the end it goes into an oil seal, so if I kept it running, I probably would have just spewed oil out. Spit oil, yeah. Alright, All right, cool. We so we'll go pick up this car. Tuck back. Yeah, so. I don't know if it cracks beforehand or when it can run one run. Yeah, because um, I'm watching you, you got the whole run, and you finish clean, got across the line. I saw the 7 9, I'm like. I like I had to double take. I was like, he hasn't cracked an eight already, has he? Like, because there's so much more in that car. Like, you can just see yeah, it. Yeah. Um, and um, then, all right. So I've just finished the first run. And, um, we're just taking a little duck into town. The auto parts store. Let's see if we can find a needle in a haystack. Um, run was awesome. Got my best time ever. Seven point nine two. It's 87 point something mile an hour and still plenty of timing left to wind into it so and still not running much boost um yeah but i got to the end of the track slowed down and then the harmonic balancer and blower crank pulley of the motor came rolling past me and ended up down the end of the track the bolt was still in the harmonic balancer because the blower fully halted on. I'm hoping it hasn't just stripped out the end of the crank because that's a bigger job than just doing it back up again. Um, anyway, we're going to see if we can find a harmonic balancer and um, some Loctite. So here we go. So we went to the auto parts store and it had shut by the time. So we're, um, we're actually not allowed to drink on the yeah, side, so we're sitting in the back. They've got their own bar, so you're not allowed to drink on this, but, you know, we're just doing it for drag races, so. Yeah, all the money went into the car, so, you know, oh shit. You know, we're just having a few bevies to celebrate Ryan's 7.9 run. He got into the sevens. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Um, but yeah, we're, we're happy with how the car went. There's a lot more potential, mate. That thing will go very quick. Yeah. You know, it'll be an 11 second car. Easy, easy. Um, you know, and, and you, you've still got to put the boost up on the blower. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, there is so much more power. Wait to just, you know what I mean? Bit of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I think all in all, it's been a fucking awesome weekend. Um, good. And I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. I don't know, I never give a shit about stuff like this, but after you just go, oh, well, that's cool, we'll fix it next time. But, uh, yeah, that's, fun. that's racing. Like, I had a ball. You know, I think racing's more than just, like you were saying before, actually, it's more than just putting your foot down on the line. It's, it's working out what's wrong with the car and how to make it go quicker. And, yeah, yeah. You know, and well, there's people that, you know, 30 years and they're still learning. Yeah, shit, yeah. And, like, I've, mate, I know I've learned a lot this weekend. Um, so, and I can't wait to learn more. I'm, Keen to, keen to keep kicking. So the next one's coming up in a few weeks or a month yeah, or two or uh, something? Or? Two weeks or something is around probably, but we'll see how we go, whether yeah. or not I can get a balance up. Yeah, it should, yeah. Um, yeah, but why not? We'll try. See? All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. And um, after we have these sneaky beers, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, we're going to do a bit of a wrap-up. This is Bruno. He's coming to say hello. Um, yeah, just talk about what we achieved on the weekend and what we've got planned for the channel in the future. So, um, we did our best time ever of 7.92 uh, at 87 mile an hour in the Convict. Yeah! Um, plenty more to come, we've got plenty more boost to wind into it, a uh, bit of timing and some weight to lose, potentially. Both in the car and the guts. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got plenty more projects planned um, that we're going to try and bring to you guys 
in the future. Um, we've got this bike here I'm sitting on. It's an old AJS uh, 500 single. We're sort of part way through fitting a small supercharger to it. Um, I like superchargers to everything I own, pretty much. <laughs> That's not such a bad thing. No, you uh, guys would remember um, Brian Slug. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, my car, the Slug, uh, 1960 Morris J2. Um, yeah, we're going to be revisiting that, giving you a bit of a video and um, look at that. Potentially, we'll be doing a, a big project on that soon. I've bought a L300 chassis and going to look at getting it engineered, completely sort of rebuilt and eventually registered on the street. Um, we've got the Toyota Dyna ramp truck build that we're going to um, get going to be able to eventually cart these cars around to drag races and events and stuff. Um, we'll show you videos of my mini rod that I built a couple of years ago. It's powered by a CX500 shaft drive V-twin engine. Um, it's just got to have a rebuild, the motor's just got to have a bit of a freshen up um, and maybe a restyling, we'll see how we go with that. Um, we've got, oh we'll check out the Tiranas, we've got a few Tiranas, we'll have a look at them. Oh, just a few. Yeah, <laughs> other bikes. Um, what else have we got? We've got, oh my little mower gasser that I'm going to do. I'm trying to find some true. photos of that. This is true. It's in a really old school sort of fiberglass mower that we're going to do up to make look like a little gasser to cruise around pits and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, we've got plenty happening. Um, we hope that you guys subscribe and keep watching the channel. We're going to try and keep bringing you pretty good content. And um, I hope you've enjoyed it. We've learned a lot and we've got a lot more to learn. See you next time, guys.